right? He told the guru, you know, I want to be on the same level you are. And so the guru said, if you want to be on the same level I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach at 4 a.m. He liked the beach. I said, I want to make money. I don't want to swim. Guru said, if you want to make money, I'll meet you tomorrow, 4 a.m. So the young man got there at 4 a.m. He all ready to rock and roll, got on the suit. The old man grabs his hand, said, how bad do you want to be successful? He said, real bad. He said, walk on out in the water. When he walks out to the water, it goes waist deep. So he's like, this guy crazy. I want to make money. He got me out here swimming. But the old man said, I thought you said you wanted to be successful. He said, I do. He came, dropped his head in, held him down, hold him down. Just before my man was about to pass out, he raised him up. He said, I got a question for you. He said, when you were underwater, what did you want to do? He said, I wanted to breathe. He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. It's only those who risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. Are you hearing me? You don't count the cost on this one. You don't count the cost on this one. You, you just do what you got to do on this one. And then you look back when it's all over and you see the reward. You look back and you see the accomplishment. You don't count it. You just look back and you see that you succeeded. So what I'm telling you is, you can't count the cost because if you count the cost and you see how much it costs, you might quit, you might give up. So you gotta go in knowing that I don't count the cost. Listen to me, you don't count how many breaths you take. You don't count it. You get to a point where you don't count it. You just do whatever it takes to get whatever you want. I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how far-fetched it might appear to be. I don't care how disappointing it might have been. When you're alone with... If you can hear me clearly and see my screen, please can you type in yes into the chat box. If you can hear me clearly and see my screen, please can you type in yes into the chat box. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome all. Welcome all. Welcome all. Welcome all. So, uh, once again, before we start, I would like you all to take your time to go through this disclaimer. So, you get an idea of what you're about to go into. Then, um, these are my social media handles. These are my social media handles. The Instagram and the um, YouTube are very, very important because this clip you're listening to, as this video, will be uploaded on the YouTube channel. And the chat you'll be seeing in this video, you can find them on either the Instagram handle or on either of my Facebook pages that is if you're not a member of my free channel but if you'd want to join up on the free channel you could send me a message on any of the above that is either twitter handle instagram telegram and i will reach or even on facebook you could send me a message on facebook then i could reach across to you and send the link over to you and also uh, the current registration for the second class of the online master class is ongoing. It's a six week training course. If you're struggling or you want to take your trading to the next level or you just want to know what Forex is all about, I think it might do you well to avail yourself of this opportunity. Or even if you just want to be able to do what I'm teaching you, because it's of no benefit you're coming here every day to learn when you can learn it and do it yourself. Because when you learn it and do it yourself, you can also teach other people. So that is the benefit. So 
if you have someone that you know that could benefit from the training, you could reach across to the person because I know some of you are already taking the classes, but the, um, the registration for the second class is ongoing. So without wasting much of your time, let's get into what we have for today. So um, as always, we're going to start with um, um, Forex Factory. We need to start with Forex Factory Calendar that we get an idea of what um, what the um, uh, what the fundamental outlook for tomorrow looks like. So tomorrow being the twentieth, no, tomorrow being the tenth. Tomorrow being the 10th of um, September, I'm already fast forwarding to 20th. Wow. So tomorrow being the 10th, we don't have so much um, lined up tomorrow. Tomorrow is almost just medium impact. But as always, if you're trading, you must accept the risk and take responsibility for your risk because there are some factors that will not be announced and they can impact the market. Something like you might just all of a sudden get a Brexit news that you were not expecting. So you might just find out that um, it might change your outlook of things. So, Without taking much of our time, let's get into our chat. So for today, as always, we always start with the dollar index. We always start with the dollar index. We look at how the dollar index is looking on the daily. So, well, um, it's mixed because it didn't close above 98.51 and it found support at 98.14. So we might see a range until it breaks to either the top side or the downside on this chart. So that's just what we're looking at. So we go into the intraday chart on the dollar index. So basically, just like I pointed out Saturday evening, that if price drops into here, it is going to bounce. And you can just see the spike immediately into that area. So we're going to get rid of all this. It's still basically the same thing. So now we can see the range clearly. We can see the range clearly on this pair. We can see the range clearly. So let me go over to my. So basically, this trend line might have to do away with it. So we're looking at a situation of this. If price gets rejected from here, it will drop lower. Should it drop from here, it will bounce. Or something like this. Okay, something like this. So these are the possible scenarios on this pair. These are the possible scenarios on the dollar line as well. For now, it is still ranging between this area. If it breaks to the top side, that is potential dollar strength. If it breaks to the downside, that is potential dollar weakness. So the next pair we're going to look at is gold. So we'll look at gold from the daily point of view, as you can see. Gold is still looking bearish. So most likely this will be the litmus test area for it. The break below this area might still send gold lower. So how are we looking at it on the intraday setup? Sorry. Looking at gold on the intraday setup. So looking at gold on the intraday setup. So now storyline is if it takes out this zone, that is 1.149305. As long as this level is not broken below and retested to the downside, you might see gold strength. 
But as long as gold is still like this, there is a potential it might still bounce up from here. So basically, gold is at a support area. It's at a support area. You just um, you just need to wait and see where it is before you take action. So the next pair we'll be looking at is USDCHF. We're looking at the USDCHF. Looking at the USDCHF, so it's clearly bullish, as you can see. Price is about to close above this pin high here. So most, but the deal with this price is that it is at a resistance structure. That's what it is here on the four hour. You can see price stayed above this level we talked about yesterday, ninety-eight seventy-three. So now price is at this falling trend line here. If it breaks above it, it might move higher. But for now, price is in a resistant area. So if you're taking your long, you need to be slightly careful with it. If you're taking your longs, you need to be slightly careful with your longs because for now, as you can see, price is at a trend line. And it might drop from there. So the next pair we'll be looking at is the Euro USD. Euro USD. Well, Euro USD, as you can see, this we could this could pass for a bullish engulfing, kind of. Pass for a bullish engulfing, but this 13 moving average on the daily is always a problem. It hasn't been able to close above it, and now it is right at that area. So how does this play out? So basically, that's what we have now. Like I said, if this level holds, price is going to move up, and that was just basically what happened. This zone held. As long as price does not close below this zone, they are still bullish. As was the weight. If they take out this zone, then there will be further weakness. So what might most likely happen is that we just might see a range between this area. But the bullish move will be finally confirmed with a move above this resistance zone to the top side. So for now, the Euro USD is still slightly tilted to the upside because there's already a bottom here. There's a bottom here. This is critical and this is key. So if this gets taken out, then most likely we might see price come down to here. But for now, still tilted slightly to the top side. It's still tilted slightly to the top side. So the next pair we'll be looking at is the Euro GBP. So looking at the Euro GBP, Euro GBP is sitting at its daily zone. Do you see this area? If this area gets taken out, price may likely drop for that. And you can see the way the daily candle closed. It's almost like um, it has the lower week is longer than the upper one, which shows that a close on the four hour above 89.51 might confirm euro strength. And we need to be careful because on Thursday, there is ECB rate news. So you just need to be careful with this pair. So looking at this pair on the intraday basis, as from the four hour time frame, uh, let me see. Uh, let me do something here. This water mark is a little bit too bright for my, too old for my eye. Okay, so let it fade into the background. So if we're looking at this, let me get rid of all this. So this area, is the zone. So this area now becomes a quasi support zone. Quasi stands like resistance. I think it will, it will go for resistance. 
Let me change the color to read. A medium term resistance area. So, if price is, so now this is a little challenge. Price needs to close back above 98.60 to continue the bullish move. But should you get a situation where you have something like this and price is dropping lower? And if it is dropping lower, where most likely will it drop? Where most likely will it be looking to drop towards? It didn't have a smooth move up here. So we're just looking at possible areas of possible areas of support around him. So either of these areas. And we have here too. So we're just looking at pure support areas on this way. So either of these areas it might fall down to it. So that's just basically it. But for now, one thing is certain the Euro GBP is still in a downtrend. But should it go below this level, it will experience further weakness. So the next pair we'll be looking at is the GBP USD. Looking at the GBP USD from the daily point of view, see? It did drop. So now the issue is to take out this area here. Let me. I thought this was for everybody. I thought this was a mark was for everybody. Okay, so this GBP USD, this area here, if you switch to your line chart, that's when you can pick it up. There's something here. Go back to your candles and see that was why price had this little bit of issue in that area. So now we'll go down to our intraday chart and this is what it's looking like. So as you can see, so now it needs to take out this area needs to take out this area for further move to the top side. So what you might see tomorrow is something like this. Might Price might try to drop down and go back up. As I said, as you can see, it's basically found support broke below, then closed back above, back inside this zone. So this pair still has a little bit tilt to the bullish side. Still for now, it's still bullish, but I still rally further up to this area. So the next one we're looking at is the GBP CHF. We're looking at the GBP CHF, you can see it has broken above this neckline. Do you see it? It has clearly closed above it. So this neckline is going to be an area of importance and that is coming in at, um, Comment. Let me change the color to a darker color. That's coming at 1.2229. If it stays above this level, it's moving further up towards this area. So, what do we have on this pair? That's what we have now. That's what we're looking at now. Probably we might be seeing. So, on this pair, on this pair, all these lower zones are might just. Let me do this. Let me just quickly, 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 quickly rule out these pairs areas of importance. So we're looking at this area. Price is clearly above it. Okay. I'm looking at uh base. Excuse me. Uh 
don't seem to know why. Right. Okay. 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 Looking at that area. Uh, uh, looking at uh, this. Uh, this area as well. So that is basically what we have on this bed tomorrow. If it stays above this area, excuse me. If it stays above this area here, it's going to continue moving up as you can see. They've come down, they've tested it, they moved back up. So as long as it stays above 1.2228, this is its target. Above that, you're looking at this swing high here, this swing. Looking at this swing high and a swing high. So those are the levels you're looking at on this pair. So as long as it stays above this level, it's going to move higher. But if it should, if you see a situation whereby he breaks below here, retest here, then you're seeing the down move. If not, this is what you most likely will see tomorrow. Continued up move. So that is it for the GBPCH. You can see it's clearly bullish, clearly bullish. So the next part of looking at is the, well, same thing too, this man is clearly bullish. He's attacking this area. And so this area is still giving him a bit of time, but they might break it by tomorrow. Because the USD and GPY still has some very, very strong up move to do. So tomorrow, what you'll be waiting for is a break above, then a retest of 107.29. That's where the level is. Once it retests there, then it's moving higher. But if it comes back down below 106.80, then you know. Is going back for that down. So the next pair we'll be looking at is um, you found the end. Same thing too. Same thing too is battling this area. Battling that area too. That one is bullish. He has a bullish close. You can see. This is a bullish engulfing candle. But it's at this resistance area. So it needs to clear this area because this area is coming from here. That's where it's coming from. So it needs to take out that area. But for now, it has two trend lines. One and two to take care of. This trend line has been taken out. So this trend line is not valid. So most likely price needs to take out these two trends, as you can see. So it might pull back a bit. You might see, you might see prices pull back a bit and move up. That's what might likely happen tomorrow. So the next we'll be looking at is the pound yen. Looking at the pound yen, the pound yen is, um, it's still bullish. You can see a bullish close into this zone. So what this means is that this pair might take out this high tomorrow. Let me show you guys something here. There's something that happened here, sorry. You can see this lower level here, 13190. You see as price tested it, so most likely price is heading for this area, this area and might even move higher. So if it breaks this level tomorrow, what you need to see is something like this. That's what you need to see to confirm the move because from experience, price might hit this zone and drop. That's what some, that's what sometimes you just need to be aware of. Price might hit this zone and drop. Or it might come back as something like this, come back then power up. So that is a possible scenario at this point. So the next one I'm looking at is the AUD USD. So, well, this one is bullish. He has taken out this area here. So that means his next area is coming in 
uh, coming in between this one. That's where we're looking at them to come into. So it's having a bit of challenge at this area. And so it's still clearly bullish. So it might just do a pullback and continue back up. But now it's still looking bullish. But on the daily, it has not tested this range. So it may come down to test it, I can't say, but on the intraday, it's still very, very bullish. Still looking very bullish into this area. So the next pair we'll be looking at is the um, AUD, um, GBP, and the Euro AUD. Looking at the Euro AUD, it's bearish, still bearish, but um, there's a bit of a challenge here. There is this daily trend line that is running all the way from here up to this point. This trend line. So as you can see, that's where it's having a bit, that's where it is now. So two things. Let's go down to our entry chart. You can see it's already touched it and bounced. So if it takes out this trend line, let me get rid of this. If price does this, if it takes out this trend line, then there's a potential you might see something like this more higher. But if it drops below here, you might just see something like this. But for now, this trend line might still hold. It has bounced first off it, so it might still move higher. The next one we'll be looking at is the GBP AUD. GBP AUD, well, I see much on this pair. I see much on this pair, but it seems to have trend line running like this, yes. It seems to have a trend line. So still seems to be respecting that trend line. And then there's a resistance trend line running like this. So, Let's see how it's looking like on the intraday chart. You see, it dipped into this area and then bounced back up. Dipped into the area, then bounced back up. So this area will shift to support zone. So it might drop in here and power back up. So that's it. And the last pair we'll be looking at is the USD card. Okay. Well, now, see what I said about this zone. At this zone, my bounce price. You can see a long lower week. But not that long, but points to the fact that they might run back to test this area. So, you can see it just hit it and you just wait for it to come back up. As long as it stays below this area, it will still drop. This area is now going to become resistance. As long as it stays below here, it will drop. As long as it stays below here, it's going to drop. It's still bearish. But if it moves back above this zone, then expecting price to move to the top side. So that is it for today. Uh, once again, remember this recording will be on um, the YouTube channel. This is the YouTube channel. Plan your trade, trade your plan. There is not much change in the vid in the chat uh, levels, so you can still get this chat at the Telegram page. If you go to the Telegram page, you will see this chat there. So, once again, thank you all for coming, and don't forget. The registration is still ongoing for the six weeks class. If you want to be able to learn how to do this that I'm doing, chat all this and do much more, I think the class might be of good use to you. So once again, thank you all for coming. I wish you all a beautiful night's sleep and a happy trading day ahead. Thank you.